Welcome to vlog number three. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Today we're going to cover five financial items that you may want to know about if you live in Dubai or you're planning to come live in Dubai. I'm going to provide timestamps in the description so that you can jump ahead to the different chapters. Okay, we're going to cover debt in Dubai, credit card interest rates in Dubai, canceling credit cards in Dubai once you're ready to leave or if you want to change credit cards. We're also going to talk about uh, paying off your car, what happens then, and also the Al Etihad Credit Bureau is something new here in Dubai. First, let me say Dubai is a great place to live. We have really enjoyed it here. Marie and I are very happy. We are uh, going to miss it, I believe, once we leave. And I truly believe that if you are smart, you can leave Dubai much better off financially than when you arrived. Number one, debt in Dubai. Credit cards and loans are very easy to get in Dubai. In the past, once you establish an account with a bank, normally they would issue whichever credit card that you were requested. Credit limits are usually based on your salary. You can also get a personal loan here very easily. The bank we bank at, you could get up to five times your salary. Low interest rate. It's also unsecured. You don't have to have any money in the bank or anything. It's all just based on your salary and your job. That's pretty useful. Uh, you could use that if you're going to be here for a long time. You could borrow money at a low interest rate. You could buy a house here. House prices now are very low. You could also buy a house uh, back home or in some other country, or you could pay off some debt. Maybe you came here with a lot of debt from your previous country and you want to start over. This would be a good way to do it. Get a loan, pay off all your debt at a low interest rate. Uh, it's a uh, fixed rate and it's a fixed term. So that makes it easy rather than a credit card where you've got that rolling interest and in, uh, the small payments and everything. So you could clean up all your debt, leave Dubai debt free, and also save money. Another thing to consider is uh, interest rates on the credit cards. Unlike US, the um, credit cards here, uh, at least the statements that I've gotten, I do not see an interest rate posted on them. Uh, several years back, we finally called the bank just to find out what our interest rate was because we don't carry a balance. We're always paying everything off. The statement will say how much interest you're charged, but if you don't carry a balance, you're never going to see that. So we called. We found out that the credit card, the main credit card that we had was 2.99% uh, per month. That's almost 36% a year. Uh, in the U.S., that would be somebody with really poor credit. Now, we were considered a premier customer at the bank, and uh, that kind of surprised me. So I asked why, want to know why the uh, premier customer had the high interest rate. And they explained that it's because the credit card has benefits on it. So we paid uh, 1,500 dirhams a year for the credit card, which then we allowed us to earn air miles and also get a um, higher status with the airline. Similar to a lot of the U.S. credit cards, you can get a status with a hotel or something like that so that you get upgrades, other benefits like that. So I guess to pay for that, that's why you have the really high interest rate. It's a little unusual, I thought, but it is what it is. Uh, if you want a lower interest rate, I was told I could get a card with no benefits on it and uh, it would run, I think, around 18%. So that's still a little high. I pay about 12% uh, on my credit card in the U.S. if I was to carry a balance. But again, like I say, my recommendation is do not carry a balance on your credit cards. Pay them off uh, every month. You'll be much happier, less stress, and it'll save you a lot of money. Another issue, uh, if you want to change banks here or if you want to, as we are, leave Dubai, you need to cancel your credit cards before you leave. You have to consider uh, when you're going to leave. In our case, it'll be uh, the end of March. So we wanted to make sure that we have time to get a uh, clearance letter for our credit cards if we needed it. And here, once you cancel the credit card, to ensure that no other charges show up on it, you cannot get any type of a clearance letter or um, a no liability letter from the bank until 45 days after the credit card was canceled. That allows time for the charges, things like that to show up that maybe you've made but are slow posting. Keep that in mind. Uh, before you can do anything, you can cancel it, uh, but then it will take 45 days for you to get the actual letter 
saying that you have no liability with that particular bank or credit card. The um, other thing is, is at least with our bank in the U.S., if I wanted to cancel my credit card, I would just call the number and it would be canceled instantly. Here, I called and then I have to wait four days for them to call me back. After the four days, they did call. Of course, they've got the uh, retention program. They want to keep you. They don't want you to cancel the card. They don't know why you're canceling it. Uh, I just explained that I had no interest in retaining it. I wanted to cancel. And before I got off the phone, it was already canceled. Now, 45 days from now, uh, I will know for sure that that card has no more uh, charges coming to it. And if I wanted to, I could go to the bank and get a... Um, uh, clearance letter for that particular account, which is useful because after you leave Dubai, if you were to leave here with some debt or some other problems, you come back to Dubai, you run the risk of getting arrested or detained at the airport because you have a delinquent debt. And a lot of people do this. They um, are not careful. They don't pay attention to their accounts, whatever and uh, they think that everything is cleared up. Be meticulous about that. When you leave Dubai, make sure you do the right thing. Make sure you clean up all your debts. Make sure all of your um, uh, phone services, cable, DUA, which is the um, uh, Dubai Electric Water Authority. Make sure all your accounts are closed. Make sure you have everything paid off. You'll be much happier. That way uh, you can come back. You can stop over for a vacation or whatever with no worries about getting detained because you left some debt here. Car loans. We paid our Jeep off recently and uh, I was kind of surprised. I expected to get a title. In the U.S., when you pay your car off, you get a paper title, uh, an official document that says you are the owner of the car. It doesn't go to the government. It comes to you. The state will issue that, whichever state that the car is registered in and it becomes yours. Here in Dubai, when you pay it off or you register or buy a vehicle, you get a little gold card and that's your vehicle license. Recently, they stopped actually issuing the gold cards and now it's all digital to save money and uh, resources. But it uh, will say on the bottom of it if it's mortgaged or not. So if you have a loan, it's gonna indicate who you have that loan with. That way, uh, you're unable to sell the car or do anything with it until that's cleared up. Once you uh, pay the car off, then you will pay 170 dirham fee with the RTA, and then you will get the car uh, clear and free, and you will get a new card issued, and there will be no mortgage listed, so it'll be yours. Then if you want to sell it, all you have to do is go to the RTA uh, with whoever's buying it, and you've already paid your fee. Uh, I'm not sure if there's another fee or not. Uh, we'll cover that later because we'll be selling our Jeep um, in a, probably a month or so. So we'll talk about that process, uh, how it went. But I think it's pretty straightforward. You uh, go to the RTA with the actual buyer. They'll have to pay a fee, obviously, to re-register it. Both of you need to make sure that you have no outstanding tickets, uh, fines from the police. So if you're, everything is cleared up, then uh, the car will be transferred immediately and uh, becomes their car. Last, something that's new here, Al Etihad Credit Bureau. Uh, I think that's a good thing. Uh, they, in the past, when you were going to borrow money, there was no credit check. There was no nothing. The only thing that mattered was that you had a valid job, you had a salary, you would get a salary letter from your company, uh, and you would take that to the bank and then they would issue your credit card or your loan based on that. And that verified that you had a job, that you were employed, that you could repay the loan. Normally, you would be getting the credit card or the loan from the same bank that your salary is deposited into. What they're changing to now, a credit bureau-based system similar to the U.S., I think. What's nice about it now is we're not really borrowing any money. We're not applying for any new credit, so we haven't uh, tested it. But what's nice when you're leaving is you can check it. You can go online, and it is uh, 84 dirhams. Uh, it's just over $20. Uh, you can get a copy of your credit report. And on there, it will list every account that you've had. It'll list your addresses, your phone numbers, your job, etc. And it'll show the status of it, show all your payments, uh, if you want to spend uh, 105 dirhams, 
you can get your credit score and your also your uh, full credit report. What was nice for us was uh, we checked it back a few months ago for Maria, uh, and we found that there was an error. She had one account that they had listed. The account was closed because she had no open accounts. Uh, this was maybe a five-year-old account, and it said balance zero, uh, closed, past due amount, I think it was like 1,500 dirhams. We couldn't figure out how can it have a past due amount of 1,500 dirhams if the balance is zero and it's closed. So we tracked the company down. Fortunately, uh, it was fairly easy. They had been sold to another company, uh, but they had the record. We described the problem to them. They pulled up her record. They uh, said they would correct it. This last week, we decided we would pull the credit uh, reports again. So we checked both of them, uh, hers and mine. Now, hers has been corrected. That uh, problem is cleared. And if you look at all of her accounts, everything shows closed. It shows uh, zero balances, nothing past due. And uh, that's good. Uh, I think that actually might be more useful than getting the clearance letters because you can do everything all at once. We have copies of that and uh, we will save that so that if anybody ever came to us and said, look, you know, you have a problem with this account, well, you can show here it was reported to the uh, UAE's credit bureau as uh, paid, closed, zero balance. So I think that's really nice. I think it's important before you decide to leave Dubai that you check that uh, to make sure you have time to clear up any problems that might exist on it. That's the same as in the U.S. You should get your credit report, check for errors and problems because companies sometimes don't report things correctly. They get entered uh, wrong, whatever, it causes you a problem, it causes a, a blemish on your credit. Uh, if you've been in Dubai a long time, I would recommend possibly checking it as well because it goes back a ways. Not uh, Maria's been here almost 21 years, so it, it definitely does not go back that far. But it does cover quite a few previous years, uh, even before the credit bureau was established. So I think that's um, good progress here, and uh, I think that's going to help people manage their credit, make sure that you know everything is being done correctly, and uh, that when you leave. Uh, you don't have any problems because that, uh, unlike a lot of countries, uh, they take things like that seriously here. There's been a lot of changes in the uh, credit laws and everything, but still, uh, you should pay your obligations, make sure everything is done, and that way when you come back, uh, you can visit resting easy, not having to worry about anything, and plus you have a paper record. Okay, I think that's all. Uh, that's the five things that I wanted to cover today. Uh, some things to think about if you're planning on coming here or if you are uh, already here and you're planning on leaving or even if you're here and uh, you're not leaving. I think it's useful if you've been here a while, check your credit out, make sure everything is uh, correct and on the up and up so that the next time you apply for a credit card or loan, you don't encounter any problems. Also, um, Try and uh, live and work smart here and uh, leave better than when you arrived. Uh, Dubai is a wonderful place to be and uh, I hope you enjoy it. We certainly have. Take care.